This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to today's edition of The Pit Stop, where we are here to talk about what's going on in our favorite hobby, sport, common interest, that being sim racing. Happy Friday to everybody out there. I hope you've had a good couple of weeks. It's been a while since we've been on the air doing the pit stop we took last week off, and there's been all sorts of news since then. In fact, with it now being December, we're really seeing a pickup in the news with it kind of being the holiday season, and I think a, a lot of companies may be trying to finish things off with a strong 2020. Hopefully the same for all of us in our racing and sim racing efforts as well. Always wanting to set things up for the new year. You know, I'm not a big new year resolution type of guy, but... It is a good time to reset. It is a good time to refocus. And if you had a mediocre season, I got to tell you, my last two racing seasons were mediocre at best. And I'm not proud of that. I'm not. But I'm the one who will always put myself on the chopping block for you. And I'm going to reflect on that. And, and I got to be honest with you, I'm not proud of having a mediocre season. It was lack of preparation. It was lack of enthusiasm. It was a lack of love or appreciation for one of the cars that we were driving. And it was straight up just being outclassed by a different level of competition than we've seen in our series in the previous seasons, which was really exciting, but very humbling. So for 2021, I'm really going to have to look in the mirror. For 2021, I'm going to have to really make some have to make some decisions as to how I'm going to approach the season. How serious? What fulfillment do I want? Am I there just to have some door-to-door -door racing and have fun and share some great uh, uh, camaraderie with the guys I race against? Or am I there to win some trophies, win some races, and get that pat on the back and the accolades and the cheering of the fans and everything that goes along with it? I'm going to have to really think about it. And it's short time between now and the beginning of my next seasons. And that's something I'm going to have to really take very seriously. Otherwise, I'll walk right into what we did last season, which was just mediocre at best. Anyway, um, I am going to make a couple of quick apologies, and then I'm really, today I'm going to have to kind of rifle through the topics a bit. We're making up for lost ground. Also, uh, things are not dialed in. So, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't have a steering wheel in front of me. Things have changed. Uh, the lighting is not optimized. The green screen is not optimized. My computers are not even optimized for doing the show yet. We've made some massive changes in the way we're doing things here. We built a new media tower, allowing us to bring in. We uh, believe it or not, I have like I have four confirmed rig reviews coming up, and I already know of a couple more on the way. We might be at the point where I'm backed up on six or seven sim chassis for full review. So um, that is what has prompted some of the changes. And again, end of the year, doing a little end of the year cleanup, a little before the new year preparation so we don't have to resort to new year resolutions. So what is going on in sim racing? One of the things I don't have is my normal stream deck here. I hope my audio is working. I hope everything's working okay. We'll see. We'll find out come showtime. So iRacing, iRacing has been making a lot of big announcements, huge announcements. A lot of things going on at iRacing. Uh, some might roll their eyes and be like, oh my gosh, another car, another track. I don't have the money. Um, and others might be saying things like, well, it's about time. Certain things that are coming to iRacing, they fall in the, well, it's about time. I want to congratulate and pat you on the back. Yes, but long overdue. So what is going on? This one, this is big. iRacing and Dallara. A lot of Dallara cars in iRacing. iRacing and Dallara seem to have a very good relationship. They've now teamed up to build the Dallara IR01, the premier spec open-wheel car to debut in the December build. It's December. Feature in 2021 World Championships. So they're going right from new car right into the 2021 championships with that very car. Uh, exciting news, uh, a beautiful looking car. Uh, I think I have a video here. Here we go. Let's check this out. Take a little swig of coffee while we check out this fine looking automobile. Where's our Windows audio? Let me work on that real quick while... Uh... I'm still not seeing my audio. Do I? Oh, I have it muted. We have some Steve Myers talking about the car. One of the really terrific and great things about working at iRacing is that we've gotten the opportunity to meet and develop relationships with wonderful people in the motorsports world uh, and companies in the motorsports world. And one of our longest partners in, in building race cars is Dallara. 
we can okay. do this year. Uh, the videos there all have the links to everything. It works exactly like a, like a real race car. We started from, a, from the Look at that track in the background. We Did you catch it? Did you catch it? Anyway, very exciting news. New car, uh, a premier level car from iRacing. Um, that thing is low profile, huh? Um, wait, I, let's go to a better pick. Let's go find a really fine file. Here we go. Look at that. That is a slick, sleek looking race car right there. So that is big news. In addition four premier European road courses in production. So these won't be out in December. These are tracks in production uh, for iRacing. Road course, you know, road courses is something, you could make an argument that we've been a little deprived of some road courses uh, in recent times. Anyway, Hockenheim Ring, Hungaro Ring, Red Bull Ring, and Knock Hill Racing Circuit have all been fully scanned and licensed and will join the already diverse lineup of European circuits in iRacing. Uh, the Cortada tracks plan for significant increase in European-based content coming to the surface in the future. Anyway, if we have some Scott uh, scan shots here. Always exciting to look at. I always like looking at the laser uh, imagery in-game. And uh, oh, some Rallycross action. Yeah. Anyway, so four new tracks coming to iRacing as well. Um... Repco, this is not track-related. Repco Supercar Pro E-Series Warren claimed the title and a $10,000 prize after a dramatic finale. Uh, I did not get a chance to see this. It's been a super-duper... Whoa, talk about... There's your drama as three of these ultimate cars are getting collected together. Anyway, congratulations to him on his $10,000 win. That's making some good money in sim racing. Uh, and there is a pursuit of more money in the world of outlaws. I might have some outlaw. I might have some sprit car news coming up at the show. Oh, we have some sim pit racing news today. Boy, do we. Uh, Alex Berger on, on top and thrilling iRacing world of outlaw sprint car action at Eldora. Uh, Cardwell finishing second, Ryan finishing third. So now in our championships, it's Cardwell with 300, Berger on with 295 and Tim Ryan, funny, there's the top three once again, 255 points as those three are really the best of the best. Nick Cooper only two points back of Ryan, by the way. Um, so within 47 points of Hayden Cardwell. Uh, and let's see here. And they stream those Monday nights, by the way, in case you want to watch. Coming Monday will be the next race in that series there. Okay, look at iRacing, Long Beach. I'm looking at this. I've been to this very spot. Um, I know exactly where this is in, uh, in Long Beach, and I've been there many a time. And if you didn't know better just looking at this, you would actually assume this was a real-life shot. You would not assume that this was just a, uh, a shot from a game. Uh, Long Beach, no longer going to be just one of these... Uh, uh, black and white. It's almost black and white when you drive <laughs> Long Beach on iRacing. It is getting the full interior or the full polish and treatment. And uh, that is something that so many of us are looking forward to. I tell you what, when Long Beach comes out, especially with this new IndyCar, when Long Beach comes out, the Sim Pit is going to host a big Long Beach race, like with like pre-races to earn your way into the big race. I'm going to try to get some cash and prizes and trophies, do some big promotion. But I guarantee you, Long Beach and the IndyCar is something that means a lot to me as I go to that race most years. And I, I know this track so intimately. Um, I will really be looking forward to that. All right. So we already talked sprint car stuff. Uh, that was prep for that race. Do we have any more we needed to talk about in our racing? Another shot of Long Beach. That is all real. That's their 365 days of the year. It's just sort of artwork for the city of Long Beach. Um, we already talked about the four European tracks. Ryan Lusa getting some iRacing sponsorship for real life. We already talked about the Delara. I think that's about it for iRacing. Now, oh, look here. Oh, here we go. The long-awaited street course is finally complete. 
Long Beach arrives with the new season. Oh, yes. I'm sorry to get all like super excited about it like that, but man, I've waited and waited and waited. Me and John Hill, my buddy, who I go to this race with, we talk about this track on iRacing all the time. We do. We really do. And until now, I got to be honest with you, as a huge fan of Long Beach and the IndyCar, the best IndyCar Long Beach experience right now has been Project Cars 2. So I am really, really looking forward to this to re hopefully replace it in experience, driving experience, just one car track combo experience. Project Cars 2 is the best. It, it was really fun driving that. So I cannot wait. I will be doing lots of Long Beach when it comes out. Uh, Seto Corsa, they are eligible for the Steam Awards. Sim Racers, they need your support. We have a couple of these coming up today, so you're going to have to decide who you want to support. Uh, Sim Racers, we need your support. The Steam Awards are a go. Please consider voting for Assetto Corsa Competizione in the category of Labor of Love, or for Labor of Love. Got till December 1st. Oh, this already happened. Shit. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to do that. All right. No labor love. We'll have to find out who wins, I guess. Uh, I have a, a few. That's what happens when you do two weeks without a show. Uh, that looked like news to me. Uh, what else did we have? R Factor 2. Uh, their next round of information dev update. Uh, roadmap is what they go by. Uh, announcing Sim Formula Europe 2021. With 2021 closer than we dare believe, a returning favorite is set to take center stage in the world of competitive R Factor 2 esport competition this January. Um, this is going to be the Sim Formula Europe 2021, the Interclassics Virtual Dutch GP. And uh, here's Paul Jeffries. I have a, we have another page. Hi, Max. Max came to say hi to the show. Hi, buddy. You like the new setup where you can actually get to me. I'm not tied up in my elevated rig um we'll talk about this in a minute we have that at the r factor page but yeah we have the full roadmap for all the things going on to close out the year or uh sim tag tilt medals anyway i'm not sure why oh these are prizes these are our prizes for the event and that is all i have to say about that oh no no november i don't think we mentioned the november and again i'm really sorry guys normally i try to do a little bit better preview but with all of the differences, I had to reset things up. I was running very late. In fact, this show should already be on YouTube, and it's not yet because we're still sitting here filming it just to give you an idea how far behind. Start of the day at 5.30, but apparently that wasn't enough. Uh, so we do have the, the R Factor 2. We had some Black Friday sales. We didn't talk about any Black Friday last week because we were off the air. Did you? Did you guys have a good Thanksgiving? First of all, did you take advantage of any Black Friday deals? I, I tried to tell you about ones that I knew of in advance, but we weren't there on Black Friday. Uh, we could have been doing a show. Sorry about that. All right. Switching over to the R Factor 2 Twitter page. Uh, here we are, that interview with the champion. So Risto Caput is the Sim Formula Europe um, 2020 champion. Paul Jeffries, isn't he of uh, Race Department? Paul Jeffries uh, is, uh, did an interview with him, and you can find that via that page there. Roadmap we talked about. Uh, we didn't go deep enough into the roadmap. Did they, they talk about anything coming? Um, the series, yes. A bunch of updates, 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 updates. Lots of little updates. And then the R Factor Endurance Bundle. Uh, moving on to cars. Last month they showed you some work in progress of the Cadillac. Look at that. That's the car that has Chip Ganassi coming back to IMSA, isn't it? I do believe. Uh, the, the blah, 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 blah. And anyway, so this is uh, coming as well. That's a cool car. That. I. You know what? I'm going to have to talk to Mitchie Hoyer because we're going to have to do some driving with that and get some help from Mitchie. Uh, all right, R-Factor 2, uh, new track update, Portland International is looking resplendent. I don't know that word, that's a new word to me, let's look at it, yeah, look at Portland, 
You know, there are certain tracks that no one ever calls it Portland, by the way. You'll hear everyone on planet Earth call it PIR. And I often wonder how many people know that that's Portland or if they just think there's some track called PIR. You almost never hear it referred to as Portland International Raceway. It is always just PIR, funny enough. And everyone's supposed to know it like it's just everyday knowledge. Uh, Porsche 24 and Redline Racing combining forces. For an incredibly strong two-car entry in GTE, this is for um, the Endurance Racing Virtual Dutch. We talked about that. WTF had a race going on. 30 drivers have made the cut. The Porsche and the Tatus await Spa. I believe that's what the uh, Redline Porsche team are teaming up for. Project Cars 3, update 3, now available for Project Cars 3. Players with numerous improvements. Uh, with numerous improvements and brand new free track. So when you look at the update, this is update number three, December 4th. Online issues, fixed GUI, career, physics, characters, environments, vehicles, fixed things. And I thought they told us a new car. Did I miss the new car? Uh, a new track? I missed the new track. What is the new track? Yaz Marina. Yaz Marina added. That's right. Yaz Marina, now part of Project Cars um, 2. 3. <laughs> 2. 3. Uh, Dirt. Dirt. Two hours ago, they posted this. Dirt's first major update is right around the corner. We put together a deep dive on what you can expect when update 2.0 rolls out. Wheel support. Optimizations. Community requested changes. So there is a full write-up. The only thing I'm really concerned about to get me to get back in is wheel support. Uh, head of, do we have an update on which wheels or anything? So modern devices from Thrustmaster Logitech. As for Fnatic, we expect support for a selection of its wheels and more to be added as we make further progress. Um, peripherals such as shifters and handbrakes will also work if they are connected. You know, that's not adequate. In-game, you... Uh, In-game, you'll have to menus and detail to adjust input bindings, vibration, feedback, sensitivity, and more. We will be closely monitoring feedback, blah, blah, blah. More changes in Dirt 5 Update 2.0. So this is a big update and is... As soon as it drops, because again, we're two hours ago, they're still talking about when it rolls out. We did expect this at the end of November, by the way, not at the beginning of December. And so we still wait, but I am uh, eagerly waiting wheel support. I do have a Thrustmaster right here ready to go. Um, I've got my wheel, but it sounds like I'm still not going to be able to use mixed peripherals. So I'm not going to be able to use an AccuForce wheel with Rickmo Tech pedals and an AIO Log shifter. Not going to happen still. Maybe in the future. As of now, it seems like it was more on that... Um, all in one. Plug it in with, in fact, I wonder, this will be a big question. Right now, I have my TLCM pedals, my load cell pedal, plugged in directly to the PC. The wheel plugged in directly to the PC. My pedals are not plugged into my wheelbase. I wonder if that's going to work. They didn't clearly state that. Um, we'll find out. I have a feeling it might not work. I might have to plug the pedals into the wheelbase in order to get it to work. Uh, lots going on in Gran Turismo, uh, <coughs> Gran Turismo Sport, Regional Finals World Tour Americas, YouTube Premiere. So this is now out there. I'm not going to play much of it. I'm going to let you guys go. In fact, I have it on mute because I don't want it. It's a two hour long video of the Regional Finals in the Americas region. Now, spoiler alert, because I'm about to switch to their Twitter page. So if you didn't watch any of the regional, and by the way, this will link you to the Americas, the European um, and the uh, um, a few different regions, videos, regional final videos. Okay, so when I go to the Gran Turismo Twitter page, we're going to start seeing some names of some of the guys who won. So if you do want to watch that, maybe you're at work and bored and just want something, you got hours of Gran Turismo best of the best racing going on. So anyway, uh, under final, uh, underway at the grand final, I'm going to go through these because I am running really late, you guys. I Forgive me. There's Igor Fraga, by the way. That's Igor Fraga. Uh, in the end... Is that the end for Fraga's hopes of reaching the world finals? Uh-oh. 
the Brazilian into the wall. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then we have our champion, Adriano Carraza. Congratulations to him. And, uh, ooh, I do not see. I do not see Fraga's name up there. Uh, there, there are the four America's drivers. Carraza, Inostroza, Brooks, and Bonelli. And anyway, uh, there's more because you have multiple regions. Ryota Kokobin, looks like he won that one. Or, I, oh, no, they're just labeling some of the best of the best. Anyway, so you can check that out. Again, the links to everything we're talking about is in the description of the show. But I got to move along or we're going to be in trouble. All right. WRC. Samir, you're breaking the car. Anybody who's been watching my rally in uh, Dirt Rally 2.0. Cole, you're breaking the car. Cole, listen to your co-driver. Anyway, hopefully this scenario won't happen while you play with a friend to the new co-driver mode available next Monday on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Tag your future co-driver in the comments below. I cannot wait to try out co-driver mode with somebody in Rally, and this is going to be a big, big reason for me to get back to WRC9, just to see what it's like to have somebody I know trying to call the action and me trying to listen to them. I think that's going to make for some really fun streams, too. I'm going to have to work with some of my buddies on some cool streams where we can show you the co-driver and the driver and the chaos that ensues. So next Monday is the big update for WRC, long-awaited co-driver, never before heard of. We'll see how this plays out. I don't even know what it's going to look like or feel, but I can't wait. Uh, Automobilista 2 has now been updated to 1.0.6.0. Features new GT3 car, large update to the new, latest Nürburgring release, and some other significant improvements to physics and AI. Full change log notes. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, and I think that was a uh, November update. I think we have that. So, boom. November update and recent progress. Wrapping up 2020. These guys, I got to tell you, if I was going to give an award for best support for their new sim in 2020, I think Automobilista 2 might just win that award. Uh, every sim out there has done a lot of work this year. It's been a great year for sim racing. It really has. I'm going to have to do a reflection show uh, coming up here. I'll have to give that some thought, best of, or I don't know. We'll have to think about that real quick because it's already December 4th. Anyway, great job by Rita. Big update uh, and more to come from them on Automalista 2. Race Room, Jordy provided us a great insights on a system such as engine mapping and injury engine Energy recovery system, two new features that will become available this December to Race Room. So we have a whole write-up, and the link again is here. Uh, Jordi Jeanne, uh talking about these new features. Engine mapping and energy recovery systems uh, being added. Two new features that will become available this December. A higher engine map will result in bigger power output, uh, more co fuel consumption, Anyway, you can learn all about these new changes to Race Room uh, and and a big uh, update to them for that. In addition to that, also, we have Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen coming to Race Room. Uh, so anybody and everybody in, in America knows Watkins Glen. Anybody who's a NASCAR fan knows Watkins Glen. Uh, Watkins Glen, an iconic North American track coming to Race Room. Good news there. Uh, we can skip this because that already happened. Uh, there are still a few things for sale, so I know that the, the, it was a little bit of slim pickings at Fnatic for what was on Black Friday discount, but they do have a few products in a few regions with a 20% dis discount, so you can check it out and see what products are still there. That was just posted yesterday, so hopefully if you're looking for some new gear from Fnatic, it, maybe their discount code will apply. Uh, Euro Truck, the good news and the mixed news. So they're talking about various things uh, going on at Euro Truck, their latest dev update. Is this like a before and after? Is this a shading thing? I didn't get a chance to really read it. Um, 
So they're talking about updates as being the good news. The bad news is they're not going to get it in before the end of the year. So they were trying to, they're looking for a big update at the end of December, and it looks like it's going to be pushed back to January. But again, as usual, more and more great things coming to us from Euro Truck. They were also eligible for the labor of love. American Truck. Cabin accessories release. So if you want to have uh, your your to-go meal or your little squishy ball or some water bottles or American flag, American flag, all sorts of little cabin accessories now available to really tailor and customize your truck. Look, you can even have your guitar on the road with you in Euro truck or American truck. Uh, I'm for Euro truck. We'll also. Uh, Some new update. Oh, so if you already have the Euro Truck version, there will be some updates in December for that version. ATS is getting this version. In addition, the Freightliner. We saw some promo videos. Cascadia has arrived. Uh, it's the most advanced on-highway truck Freightliner has ever offered. And today we are excited to announce its arrival in American Truck Simulator. Um, bah, 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 bah. Do we have a price? Do we have a price? I don't know the price on the truck. Uh, available for purchase, but I don't have a price. Sorry. I'm not seeing a price here. So, paint schemes. Awesome. Good job. Good job by them. All right, moving right along. Alpha Sim Wind Simulator. Uh, just another variation on a wind sim. Look at that. You got a nice fancy kit for this one. You can have a DIY version, cold air intake version. 200 euro. Or you could always build the one that I made, but here, we'll get a little shot of this in action. Alpha Wind Simulator. Ah, I have the little tassels on mine. Have you guys seen my tassels? I have tassels on mine. Not as fancy as that. I don't have ducks and making it look all real racy. Mine is just two big fans sticking at me. Looking more like that right there. Anyway, all right. What else? Vocor screen. Another thing out there that was sent in to me. The Vocor screen. Look at this little sucker. Uh, not sure why it's got fallout there. Um, do we have a price on this thing? Anyway, uh, it came with a video. And look. Hey. No. There we go. So another screen option out there for you DIY guys, the Vocore screen. That looks cool right there. That looks super cool. Track map in the background. Look at that. That's awesome. Anyway, you can check that out. Link's there. All right, check out a few things. This guy modified his Logitech. Check this out. Just fitted, this is posted by M Blessing 1989 Just fitted this bad boy in replacement for my stock G29 wheel. I must say, it certainly feels more ergonomic and easier to drive in F1 2020. Man, I am so late. 20, it's 8.20. This is supposed to be live at 9. This was, I'm sorry, I'm going to haul ass and then we're going to go, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, Caper posted this one. Just finished designing his button box for his Fanatic CSL Elite wheelbase. The big hole is for an air vent from a Mercedes. Pretty slick. Looks like he's going to 3D print this, I'm guessing. I'd like to see the finished job, vape Caper. I hope you post it. This one by Daniel Laxier, Lakeser. Double trouble, his and hers. Not pro at all, but might eventually get there. Pretty cool. His and hers. He races with his wife or girlfriend or female roommate. I love it. That is really cool. And then finally, hey, wait, where's my... Oh, I know where it is. Okay, I have one more after this. This is by Just For A Beard. Upgraded his rig with some lumber I had laying around. Oh, and a direct drive too. 15-year-old me would be so proud. <laughs> Isn't it true? Oh, you get to a certain age and you can start having the toys that you only wished you had at a younger age. Anyway, I like the clever mouse stand using a couple of spare tires. That's very racy. He's got the seat belts on there. Obviously, he's got his podium uh, um, wheelbase. And a nice looking setup there just for a beard. I'm very impressed. And then this one just touched my heart with it being the holiday season. A cozy, a cozy Christmas sim rig. 
Uh, it was the cat clawing the chair. Bad cat! You are not supposed to do that, cat. No, you are not supposed to do that. All right. Now let's talk sim pit racing, and then let's get out of here. All right, first up, we have some leaderboard. We had two events happen in the sim pit rally league in, since our last show. The first one was actually at Australia, and Randy Savage was the man to beat. 1442, eight seconds back to Grumpy. These two are in a different world, I tell you. They just are. Heiko Sherman finishing in third. Climber, Alesh Mom, TFR, PS4, No War, Sean Cole, and Booth are our top 10 in Australia. At New Zealand, which was an impossibly difficult one, Randy Savage again, Macho Man, flexing his muscles. 1630, 15, 16 seconds faster than David Climber. Climber, you are on fire lately. Grumpy in third, Lesh Mom fourth, Twiggy in fifth, TFR, Shock Dustin, Sean Cole, Ola Sarnkist, and Turn 7 Racing are our top 10. All right, now it's time to crown some champions. Uh, what what a season we had in the Simpit series this season. Uh, but it was David Clymer who won like six of eight races. Uh, David Clymer was the man to, nobody could beat David. He was on. It was amazing what David Clymer did against some people trying very hard to win this championship. David Clymer just week after week came prepared, ready to win, and did so. Uh, great job by David. Great job. That is his trophy there. That is his car there. And a huge congratulations to our Simpit Arca Oval Champion, David Clymer. Great job, buddy. Um, and then finishing in second. Our original Oval Series champion, Billy Strange, and finishing in third, our three-time, four-time champion, Mark Michkowski, finishing in third in the points on the road side of things. In the LMP2 Series, Gonzalo Perone was the man that was very difficult to beat. He won a bunch of races this season. He was he was one of the best at every single race of the season, and in the end, he won the championship in solid fashion. Congratulations, Gonzalo Perone. There is your trophy. It'll be on your the way to you on Monday, and a great job by him as we look forward to the next season in both those. Gonzalo Perone winning the season, Randall White finishing in second, and Anthony Morano Jr. finishing in third place. And that takes me to... Wait, wait, where? I thought I had one more. I do have one more. Bear with me. And then last weekend we had our Sim Pit uh, November. It was actually the November patron race, and it was Finny McFinger. Finny McFinger wins the race. That's what we call him. He was the race winner. This was at Olden Park in the Kia. It was a very exciting race. Tough combo for these guys. And there is his trophy that will be going out to him as well. And I, I'd like to give all these guys more time because they all did such a great job. It was just great racing. We've had some fantastic racing. And that leads me to the future. Actually, let's come back to this one. Let's start here. This here is in our Discord channel. This is the Sim Pit. In fact, I need to tag this in our channel. Uh, this is our racing schedule. So tonight, tonight is the 4th. Tonight we're going to do Pro Trucks at Crandon. So at 6 o'clock in our normal Oval Series time, just for the fun of it, we're going to run Pro Trucks, Pro 4 Trucks at Crandon. If you want to join us, just jump onto our stream at Simpit Live on Twitch. Jump into our Discord channel to get prepared. And we're going to have some fun tonight. Tomorrow morning we have the ARCA race. I'm not the ARCA, the Assetto Corsa Competizione fun race. And then on Sunday, in place of our normal oval time at 10 a.m., we're going to have a NASCAR Cup Texas Speedway race. So just some fun racing over the weekend tonight, tomorrow morning, and Sunday morning. Jump into our Discord channel if you want to join the team and join the group. Also, you can see this calendar goes all the way through the end of the year. So if you're looking for some racing each weekend through December, just tune in here and hang out with us. And that leads me to this. I'm just going to play this video and let it speak for itself.
Is that Skyline Red in the background? I gotta find out what music. That might be Skyline Red. All right, so what is this? I have been working with Billy Strange and Tyson Landis, and we have really been putting our, our heads on the paper. Or how, I don't know. We've been planning on running a oval series. This has been long in the works. Billy Strange used to race sprint cars, um, and he's one of the best of the best in our group, and he's really helpful. We might even do some schools and things, but we are starting an oval series, dirt oval series, 305 sprint car, and this all begins uh, this month. So here is the schedule coming up. This league is now open for signups, so you can start doing it. Jump into our Discord channel um, and get information there. But starting on the December 22nd, these are Tuesday nights. Tuesday Night Thunder! USA, Eldora, Cedar Lake, Lanier, Lima Land, and Charlotte. And the 305 Sprint Car, this is going to be awesome. We are going to have champions, trophies for this season, for this six race series. We are going to have second and third place trophies as well. And that's something that I am now talking about for the Road and Oval Series for next season, adding second and third place. More generic. The champion trophy will be something special. Uh, but all of the signups begin now. I will be talking about it every pit stop, every stream between now and December 22nd as we kick things off for this one. So uh, tune in for more on that and get ready. And like I said, join our Discord because we might randomly throw up some practice events. Billy Strange might even be willing to help. You might want to send him a message or, or at least see what's going on as we're going to set up some channels and places for people to communicate about the Sim Pit. Uh, uh, Billy Strange, BSR Sim Pit, uh, Tuesday night racing. It is me and Billy Strange racing. Sim Pit and Billy Strange racing working together on this one. Kind of a, a, a co-channel uh, championship series available to all so that is going to do it for today i am so far behind i hope we even get this thing live by nine o'clock i apologize for it being a little helter skelter everything's different everything's new but it's just going to keep getting better anyway i hope you enjoyed the show happy friday get out there do some sim racing this is the sim pit i'm sean cole and i'll see you on the track